guys, this is the Epiphany. In today's video, I'm going to go over the results from my polls. And basically, you would have noticed on my channel over the past week, I've started a couple of polls uh, for people to vote. First question was, uh, what type of videos do you like viewing the most on my channel? And I got uh, 3v3 Coliseum, which was the most popular type of video, which I agree with because those videos usually get the most views. And you know, PVM was the second highest. Um, the only PVM fights I upload are hard quest lines and boss fights for Dofus anyway. So yeah, um, free, free Coliseum will be the video type that I'm focusing on. Second question was, what is the, um, what is your favorite class that you like seeing me play in Coliseum? And my Fekka appears to have been the most popular. I was a bit surprised by this because I don't think Fekkers are very interesting. Uh, it might have something to do with the fact that the Fekka is on Elizeo's server. Uh, uh, personally, I think Hopper Mage is the most interesting class to play because it actually requires a lot of thinking. Uh, but since uh, my Fekka on Elizeo had the highest votes, I'll be doing Coliseum on my Fekka today and probably for the next couple of videos. Last vote is, should I upload fights that I lose? And 92% said yes. And I asked, uh, explain why? And some people explained that basically uh, we can learn from mistakes I make in Colo uh, or it's more interesting. Uh, I can reflect on what went wrong. Um, it's interesting to see uh, where something goes wrong or why I lose the fight. You know, um, so yeah, I will be uploading fights where I lose uh, from now on as well. Uh, my channel has been around for a very long time and I don't think I've ever uploaded a video of a loss. So uh, from now on, I will be doing that. But obviously, I'm not going to uh, announce at the start of the video whether I won or lost because that's going to spoil the, the suspense. I actually have not done uh, any Colosseum fights this season on my Fekka on Elizeo because I don't really think Fekka is you know a, a very effective class in Colosseum because it needs to have buffs from let's say an Enerypsa or a Forgonaut to be effective. Um, as for Hopper Mage, you know, it's very good uh, for positioning and stuff, which is why I usually do Colosseum on my Hopper Mage on Echo. But, you know, majority majority rules. The most people said they liked watching my Fekka, so I'll be making videos of my Fekka. Uh, we just have to wait for a fight. Uh, while we wait for a fight, you know, there um, hasn't been many changes to my Fekka on Elizeo compared to the previous video of my Fekka. Um, I did say that I, I had gotten a Volbus before. Um, I did complete the Turquoise Dofus quest and Ebony Dofus quest on Elizeo and I sold the, uh, the old Turquoise and old Ebony that I had bought uh, from the Karmas I made from Maging. But you know, the rest of my set is pretty much still the same. Uh, these items I did reveal in the, uh, the video where I reached level 200 and, you know, I explained my reasoning for why I got these items. Uh, some of them I made, some of them I bought from the market. But, yeah, so in terms of gear, there hasn't been any changes to my gear. I still have the old set. I've had a lot of uh, people, you know get impressed by the amount of damage that my Fekka can do and usually that happens in 5v5 Perceptors on Elizeo where you know, they see my Corrupted Bow hit like 2000 damage. Uh, it, it's, it's quite a normal thing to occur because you know I can steal intelligence with lifelessness, natural attack so and, and those stack as well. You know, like lifelessness stacks twice, so I can get 300 int from that, and then natural attack stacks three times, so I can get 180 int from that. So that's like 480 intelligence extra with weapon skill. And the current set I have is 1342 intelligence, so 
you know that's like 1800 intelligence and usually in uh, 5v5 perceptor there is an inner rips on the team because inner ripses are the most important class in a 5v5 perceptor team so they give me 250 power as well so that pretty much equates to having 2100 uh 2100 intelligence so you know when buffed this fecker can uh unleash a very high amount of damage uh, which is pretty nice leafy green is here that's actually dofu's reflex channel um ability this is his hopper mage on Eliseo. i don't know if you guys know that but um yeah that's the dofu's reflex channel owner there it's six o'clock in the game which is technically dead hours so um yeah, I, I'll just stop recording here and I'll cut back when there's a fight. Okay, literally one minute after I stopped recording, I got a fight. So let's accept the fight and we'll see how we go. Like I said, win or lose, I'll be uploading this video. It's a promise. Um, you know, so I'm going to try my best from the start. Okay, it's a pretty big map. Uh, we have Echo Flip and Hopper Mage on my team. These guys are um, Legend rank and Crystal rank, so you know it shows that they have experience. I don't have a, I, I don't even have a rank yet. So yeah, uh, okay. So we're fighting a Sacrius Ram and Iop. Um, this fight can prove to be problematic. Uh, wait, Gemet Her Type. Okay, so that means. Echo few. Okay, so that means the echo flip is intelligence, and he had type is French for archetypal bow. Okay, so that's good. Fekka is a healer. Oh, sorry, Echo is a healer. And yeah, all right. So echo flips a healer, hopper mage, and then myself here. All right, let's have a look. Yurukai has Bork Precision, so Iop has a legendary pet. Wax has Wax has Sparkling Silver. That's our Hopper Mage. Okay. Judging from his set, he looks to be Chance. And our IO, oh sorry, our Echo Flip is Intelligence, uh, has the negative crit resistance and 10 air resistance from Archetypal Bow. I'm Intelligence. SRAM on the enemy team is Strength, I'm pretty sure. Has a lot of critical resistance. Sakura here is Agility. Iop here is looks like uh, looks like chance, but can't be sure about that. All right, let's see. I'm going to shield this hopper mage because I cannot reach them both. I'm just gonna steal some intelligence from this double. And I will go here. Alright, the eye of appears to be intelligence actually. You saw the fate. He has ball precision, three percent uh three percent melee damage from legendary pet. Cloudy as well, so turn 3 he's going to be deadly. Um, I think this turn we should be going for the Iope. Interesting, summon the roulette. And he smelled. Okay. Just get the sound down. Okay, it is already on minimum. Okay, Dark King, Sakura, summons a sword. The 
Okay, it looks like uh, it looks like calamity is set by Ness Greedy. Okay, it looks like the SRAM is actually chance because he used a ch a water damage trap. If he rushes, I can use backup. Does he have journey? Hmm, this is strange. So he didn't he didn't go in. I'm pretty sure his chance, judging from his pet, it's a canny gloopy, I think. He pushed the SRAM and the IO back to the side with um with Earth Manifestation. Okay, yeah, this the SRAM is definitely chance hitting with chance spells. I'm guessing he's gonna go invisible now. Yep. Okay, so in this turn I suppose I'll just hit the Iope. The Moon Melee Hopper. So he wants barricade. Yeah, but we're saying not this turn because the IOP has a um, negative. Alright, I'm gonna steal the IOP's intelligence. The IOP is intelligence. Alright, crafted by the IOP. 1.6k if it crits. 1.5. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, we know that he's intelligence, so. Stealing his intelligence would be the most optimal thing to do. He's buffing himself, preparing for next turn. The fact that I ran in, I'm not afraid of dying because I know that the eye will not go in this turn since it's negative cloudy. It's a bit problematic because these guys are a bit too far away. You know, we, we want to kill this eye like before he gets another turn. Because this next turn is going to be very deadly with uh, Cloudy Dofus. Hopefully this Echo can hit the Iope. Yeah, he can. Intelligence Echoes usually have a lot of range, which is nice. Yeah, that's very nice. So I think the Sakura will be forced to sacrifice the Iope now. Yeah, he's going to Sword Sacrifice. So Sacrifice the Sword you know, heals him as well, which is... Quite ridiculous if you ask me. Okay. I wonder if this Hopper Mage can unbewitch the IO with uh Oh. Okay, he's going in. Okay, he's raping the damage of the IO, minus 25% damage. Okay, so this turn I'm going to give the IO, oh sorry, I'm going to give the Hopper Mage Barricade. Hmm. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage. Some sort of trap chain from the SRAM. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna have to barricade the Hopper Mage, otherwise the Iop's gonna kill him. See where the double goes. Hmm. Yep, gonna have to barricade him. The barricade, yep. Barricade him. Okay, I'm gonna put a put an Aegis here to share damage. Also gonna rape the intelligence of the eye a bit more. Then I'm gonna end my turn here. The fact that I'm standing inside the Aegis means that all damage transfers to the Aegis uh, if I get hit. I've learned that Aegis is actually the better option than Teleglyph. 
So I, you know, I've decided to use Aegis. Yeah, I think I think the Hop is still dead though. Oh wait, he has a. Uh, I think he has Sparkling Silver. Okay, um, this Echo has to heal him. Ah, that's nice. Luck, repercussion, heal bow if possible. Yeah, there we go. Heal 1.3k, which is nice. Yeah, I should get back into the Aegis now. Uh, yep, that's fine if he stays there. He's probably gonna go in for the Echo, I reckon. Ah, yeah. Pulls him out, so now when he hits the Echo, damage is no longer transferred to the Aegis. Oh, that is strong. Yeah, uh, Sakriya's these days are very strong. I would know since one of my best friends in this game is a Sakriya. But, you know, apparently they're getting nerfed at the next update. It's unbewitching. Given resistance to the Echo Flip. Alright, so now that the... Yeah. Ah, oh, the Strams over there. So the fact that he unbewitched the buff of the Iope, uh, sorry, unbewitched the sacrifice of the Iope means we can hit the Iope now. Hopefully I can kill him. Putting erosion on the Echo Flip and used uh, Prayer Ring. Okay, I'm going to try my best to kill this Iope. Okay, I think I can. Yeah, I'll have to rely on at least a crit though. Uh, perception Glyph and Corrupted Bow. Alright, Perception Glyph. Corrupted Bow. There we go. Yep. Perception Bow, uh, Perception and Bow critting is what I like to look for. Alright, I think the Ceram should be next now. Yeah. Yep. Continue hitting. And then he should run back into the Aegis. Yep. That's good. So now the Sakura will have to spend some AP pulling the Echo Flip out. Oh, he's just changing target to the Hopper. Will he finish? Yeah, he's smart. It's a very strong Sakura. Very strong. Alright, he's continuing to go for the Echo, which is a bit strange. I cannot hit the Sram, unfortunately. Yeah, I think uh, no way I can win this anyway. So in a situation like this, a Fekka has no mechanic of unlocking itself. Okay, let's see. Um, might as well get a leak pie on him there. Ecatus and minus resist close combat. Sakri hit 1100. So apparently the Echo Flip has negative melee resistance. Oh, I don't know, but looks like we can't win at this stage. So in terms of what went wrong in this fight, it's one of those fights where I'm not really sure what goes wrong because, you know, I think they just had more damage than us. And, you know, we, we got ourselves killed, so. 
Yeah, nothing we can do about that. Continuing to keep me locked means I can't, you know, escape or anything. I technically would have to summon... Summon a coward and then... Excursion glyph it, but... You know, it's not, it's not gonna be much help. Yeah, it's pretty much over here's invisibility. Now I'm going to summon an Aegis and then swap the Aegis. Uh, okay, hit the Sacrio. Staying here means I'm, you know, I, I still transfer damage to the Aegis, but you know, he swapped me. Then he ran back out and he's gonna finish me off. So yeah. Unfortunately the fight was lost, but you know this is my character on Elite Zale. Um now, in terms of damage it's good, but I feel like it's not really much of a team player. You know, I can't really save anyone or anything like that. And yeah, so th th thanks for watching the video and I'll see you at the next one.